Let's get ready to rumble! I'm tired. It's like 3 a.m. I don't know what possesses me to film these videos at like 4 o'clock in the morning. I guess I just have that boost of energy. Help me get through this. I need energy. I need energy. I need energy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Takara One, or you can call me Teeks. It is whichever one that you would prefer to call me, but the name is Takara One. Okay. Probably don't even understand how excited I am to make this video because I have a dress form now. I want to get out so many draping videos for you guys because what is fashion design? without draping. <laughs> so basically for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to drape a basic bodice. And if you clicked on this video and you wanna learn how to drape, you've come to the right place, my darling. I got you. I got you. So what is draping, you ask? What is it? What the heck, what the heck is that? What is draping? Am I draping curtains? Am what am I draping? What am I going to be doing? I don't, I'm not understanding. Well, draping and sewing is basically what fashion designers use. It's a technique that they use when designing and sewing different garments. All you're basically doing is draping your fabric around your dress form and you're pinning it into your desired shape. It's garment construction, people. Garment construction. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And before we get started, I'm going to tell you guys all the materials that you're going to need to drape your basic bodice on your dress form. So, so first off, if you're watching this video, you need to make sure that you have a model form, a fashion form, a dress form, a sewing form. That is what I have behind me. I love my dress form. <laughs> of course, this tutorial will be useless. It would be useless without you having a dress form. So make sure that you have a dress form. I'm pretty sure you have one. And if you don't have one, thanks to my friends over at mannequinmadness.com, I have this female full body sewing dress form by Roxy. And mine is in this size six. It does have collapsible shoulders. It's like my size. <laughs> Or a little bit bigger. I have other videos on my dress form. I have an unboxing video. I'll link it up here if you guys just want more details and like more just about all about the mannequin. If you guys want to purchase a dress form, if you're on a budget, I advise you to go to mannequinmadness.com and purchase your dress forms now. While I have a coupon code, I have a coupon code where you can get free shipping on your sewing forms. And that coupon code is TEEKS. So you guys should head over to the website, check it out, purchase your dress forms, purchase your sewing forms, your fashion forms. <laughs> yes, purchase your forms right now, right now, now, not later, now. Okay, did you get it? Okay. All right, let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> All right, so now that you have your dress form, you're also gonna want some type of ruler. I'm using this one. You can use one of the ones that are a little bit more flimsy. This is the one that I have, but I like to use the clear ruler so I can see through them. So I'm using this one, and I'm using it in purple because my favorite color is purple. If your favorite color is purple too, comment a purple heart in the comments below. I always do this. Favorite color purple, comment a purple heart. <laughs> you're also gonna need some scissors. Look, purple again. Y'all know I love purple. Anyways, you're gonna need some scissors. Prefer preferable preferably fabric scissors because we're going to be cutting on our fabric for yeah when we're draping so make sure that you're using fabric scissors you're going to need some pins i actually have this wrist pin cushion and i have my pins on it this just makes it easier to drape i don't have to worry about like having to you know go back to my sewing area so yeah you guys can purchase this i have a link in the description box if you guys want to get one for yourself these are these come in handy you guys like for real like i like using these also honestly this is optional but i'm just going to use it so that i can kind of like line up on the mannequin so i can like make sure everything is like you know accurate and everything like that i'm using bias tape now you can use draping tape or bias tape um you guys will see how I'll put this on the mannequin. But yeah, draping tape, bias tape, it's only a dollar. I'll link it in the description box or you can find it at like your local craft stores, Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabrics, um, probably Michael's. But yeah, I'll have a link on Amazon too if you guys want to purchase on Amazon as well. But yeah, super cheap. I just have this in black. This is the double fold bias tape. So like I said, oop, like I said, this is optional, but 
I'm using it. Next, you're gonna want some number two pencils or you can use your Sharpies. I'm gonna use Sharpies just so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I would suggest that you use pencils if you don't own your dress form because I know I have a lot of like fashion students who watch my videos. If you don't own your dress forms, use pencils. But yeah, you can use Sharpies too just to mark your little lines. I'm dropping everything to that. Okay. But this is gonna be to mark your lines on your bodice. And then you need muslin. I'm using muslin. You guys, muslin is so cheap. It's unbleached cotton fabric. It's super cheap. It's not expensive like regular fabric. Um, I got mine from off of, I got mine from Hobby Lobby, but again, I'm gonna link some muslin in the description box below. If you don't wanna use muslin, you can use um, your regular fabric and or like a sheet of some sort. Sheets are really, you know, if you just have an old sheet laying around in your house, you can use that. But I would suggest muslin instead of your fabric because you wanna kinda like, you know, get the sample of your garments before you like play around with your real fabric. A yard of muslin just for this project and mine is cut into 24 inches long and 18 inches wide so width of 18 inches 24 inches long basically all i'm going to do is i'm going to just mark this across right across the apex of which the apex is right here oops just going to mark this right across this so I'm just pinning this in here like so. And then I'm going to take this. And I'm gonna pin this as well. You always just want to pin like side to the side and so I'm then I'm just going to cut right where I lined this up at This just usually helps you keep your draping even across the body, so that is why I did that. But I'm just going to be working on one side, but like I said, it just helps me to kind of like make everything accurate and keep everything even. So now I'm going to be taking the selvage edge, and that is the finished edge of our muslin, and I'm just going to be lining that up um, down the middle. And basically, you're going to be pinning the basic piece of muslin on the center front of the form, and you're going to be doing that where the um where the finished edge is which is called the selvage edge so you don't want to line it up right on the selvage you're not going to do that we're actually going to mark a line one inch parallel from the selvage edge and that's where we will line up our um our piece of muslin so draw a straight line one inch away from the selvage edge and I'm gonna go ahead and do that and come back and show you guys so I want to remind you guys that even if you're left-handed you always want to work on the right side of the mannequin and yeah we're gonna be making our bodice on the right side and what, what else was I gonna say you're gonna make it on the right side of the mannequin and you don't have to worry about making two sides for the bodice because it's going to be the same thing so yeah they're going to be the same thing they're going to be identical to each other so you only have to worry about making one side of the bodice and that's only if the sides are going to look the same on your garment i'm going to start and i'm going to place that line right where this seam line is here on the bodice or on our dress form i'm just going to keep pinning all the way down to the waist and I'm just gonna keep like my pins about like a half an inch um, about a half an inch away from each other okay so as you guys can see I have it pinned all the way down to the waist and you just want to pin the center front down so that way you can keep the bodice in place and you can keep the center front in place and you want to make sure to stop at the waistline so i'm just going to start pinning up here and i'm smoothing and pinning so let's see as you 
guys can see there's a lot of tension up here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut and i'm going to smooth out you never want to pull on the muslin you also you always want to make sure when you're draping that you're smoothing and then pinning i'm going to take my scissors and i'm just going to cut And this is making it easier for me to be able to smooth this out. So I'm gonna cut right here. I'm cutting where there's tension and then I'm smoothing. And as you guys can see, it's laying flat on the mannequin and then I'm just going to pin or on the dress form, on the body form, saying mannequin. Where everything is like nice and straight. Nice and smooth, I mean. Okay, so now we're doing that same technique and we're just gonna be smoothing and we're gonna pin on our side seam. So I'm gonna turn this so you guys can see it a little bit. You do not wanna pull, you just wanna smooth. So I'm gonna smooth this until I can feel my side seam. I can definitely feel my side seam. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin all the way down to the waist. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a dart and basically you're creating a dart on the princess seam, the princess line which falls over the apex and the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's turn this this way so you guys can see. I'm going to just grab this fabric and I'm going to create that dart. And you can just play around with it. And then you can just take your pins. I don't have any pins. <laughs> you can just take your pins and you can start to create that dart. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, you want to just do it right at the waist. Okay. And I'm pinning all the way up to the apex. So now that I have my dart, I'm just going to go ahead and clip right here. Get rid of the tension that's like right here because there's a lot of tension right here. I'm just gonna clip. And this just like makes it less, having less of that tension. I'm gonna do it to this back side as well. to take 
my Sharpie, my little Sharpie, and I'm gonna mark everything. So I'm gonna mark my waist. And then I'm gonna mark my side seam. I'm gonna mark the side seams, and you can feel. So I'm gonna start from right here. And I'm left-handed, as y'all can see. I'm gonna mark my apex with just like a little X right here. I'm a little booby. And then I'm gonna mark the dart, the inside of the dart. So you guys can see. I'm just doing like really light markings. Gotta do the other side too, you guys. Don't forget to do the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna mark at the neckline. It's kind of hard to see, but and I'm so short, so I have to get on my. And then you can just do the shoulder seam. And then I'm just going to bring this around. This is where the armhole is. Okay. Of And then I'm just going to cut around this entire thing. And then that is it, you guys. We draped our basic bodice pattern. And then I'll do. A, I'm going to do another video showing you guys how to transfer everything over to the um, pattern paper. So yeah, but as far as the draping goes, that is pretty much it. It's actually not even hard at all. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope it was easy for you guys to follow along. I hope it was helpful. If it was, don't forget to rate it and give it a thumbs up so that I know it helped you out. And that, you know, this video can reach other people and help them out as well with draping a basic bodice on a sewing form dress form whatever you want to call it if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure that you click that red subscribe button button click the red subscribe button and become a part of the teacup family where we do diys and fashion videos and sewing videos and yeah it's just a big ball of fashion you definitely should subscribe and turn your post notifications on so that way you won't miss an upload anytime i upload here on the takara one channel and if you are already a subscriber or you're you know you're active on here make sure you just double check make sure you're subscribed make sure your post notifications are on so that way you can get all the content to your emails and you'll be notified and you can comment first as soon as i post push the public button to post a video <laughs> leave a comment in the comments below letting me know what other fashion techniques or fashion videos that you guys would like to see from me or just sewing series videos any videos that have to do with design comment in the comments below what you guys need help with and i will do those videos i think that's all i have for today i love you guys and i will see you at the top peace